हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द गौरव आर्या शो अच्छा हम में से काफी लोग हैं जिन्होंने मेरे गेस्ट के प्रोडक्ट्स यूज कर रखे हैं और ये प्रोडक्ट्स डिजिटल हैं और ये आम रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी में इस्तेमाल करने वाले प्रोडक्ट्स हैं मैंने खुद इस्तेमाल करे हैं मेरे साथ हैं संजीव भिकचंदानी जी द फाउंडर ऑफ नौकरी डॉट कॉम एंड सो मच मोर संजीव वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू अर शो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कॉलिंग गौरव संजीव पहला सवाल ये जो आपने स्ट्रक्चर खड़ा करा है डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स आपने खड़े करे हैं इस पे मैं बाद में आऊंगा सबसे पहले मैं आपसे ये पूछना चाहता हूं आपके परिवार की शुरुआत कहां से है आप आए कहां से वॉट आर योर ओरिजिन एंड फिर हम आगे ले जाएंगे आपकी कहानी देखिए वी वर रेफ्यूजी फैमिली बोथ फ्रॉम माई फादर साइड एंड माई मदर साइड वी आर सिन दीज सो माई मदर साइड वॉज इन द गवर्नमेंट एंड माई फादर साइड साइड वॉज स्मॉल लैंड लैंड ओनर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल Uh, and my father went to medical school uh, in Karachi. He started there on a government scholarship. Yes. Uh, and then partition happened. So he. Then it was broken. So uh, my mother side was really well off. They came in a saloon car. Okay. So my father, my 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 nana was uh, in the government and in the she was a senior civil engineer. Yes. In the in the government and he was just transferred uh, to the government of India um, on on this side of the border, and my on my. Uh, father side they were not so well off and they came and they stayed in tents in refugee colony in what is now patel nagar Achha. and my father went to medical college vishakhapatnam um, you know he just caught a ship to bombay from karachi and within 48 hours his college was transferred to vishakhapatnam and after one year there he took a transfer to agra which is where he graduated from and then he joined the government so he was in the cghs for all his career and we grew up in government colonies uh, i have an elder brother an elder sister and Achha. uh and so we were not brought up to be entrepreneurs we were brought up to study hard uh, we were told very clearly that look you have nothing to inherit you have to only make it on your education khud banana hai sab kuch you have to make it on your education bhai study hard clear the entrance exams get into good colleges uh, get a good job so 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 good colleges mein we went to the same college ji so aap jaate hain st stephens college ji aur st stephens college se aap pass out karte hain ji mera dusra sawal hai ki naukri.com ke aapke dimag mein kab ye baat aayi sanjeev ki aap वेबसाइट से बिकॉज आई थिंक ये ये आई थिंक यू यू आर अमंग्स द फ्यू पाइनियर जू स्टार्टेड दिस क्योंकि हमने तो सुना नहींट ये कब शुरू हुआ आपका नौकरी डॉट कॉम का मामला नहीं आई फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम वॉन्टेड टू बी एन ऑन्टरप्रन सिंस आई ट्वेल्व थर्टीन ईयर्स थर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड आई हैड सेट कि मैं कुछ साल काम करूंगा पढ़ाई के बाद एंड देन आई विल स्टार्ट माई ओन कंपनी जी एंड दिस गोल स्टेड विद मी यू नो राइट थ्रू सो आई फिनिश फ्रॉम कॉलेज मैंने तीन साल एडवर्टाइजिंग में काम किया इन अ कंपनी कॉल लिंटेस इन दिल्ली एंड बॉम्बे अच्छा देन आई वेंट टू आई एम अहमदाबाद फॉर टू स्टडी मैनेजमेंट फॉर टू इयर्स एंड देन आई वर्क इन कंज्यूमर मार्केटिंग इन अ कंपनी दैट वाज देन कॉल्ड एच एम एम एंड नाउ इज कॉल्ड लैक्सो स्मिथ टाइम आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन द ब्रांड हॉलिक्स इन मार्केटिंग अच्छा सो वेन आई वॉज इन एच एम एम यू नो दे वॉज सेवन एट अवर्स टेन अवर्स मे बी द मार्केटिंग टीम वी वुड सिट इन अ ओपन हॉल विच मेंट दैट आई कुड सी वॉट माई कॉलिग्स आर डूइंग एंड आई कुड हियर वॉट दे वॉज सेंग ऑन द फोन and i observed something very strange i observed that every time the office copy of business india would come in sab log wo magazine ko piche se padhte the kyunki at the back of that magazine were 35 40 pages of appointment ads jobs jobs right and kai log article padhte nahi the sirf appointment ads dekh ke magazine aage pass kar dete the and fir wo discussion hoti bhai is company mein ye job ja rahi hai ye job ja rahi hai what do you think so i figured ki jobs आर अ वेरी हाई इंटरेस्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सबको जॉब्स में इंटरेस्ट है चाहे वो ढूंढ रहे हो या ना ढूंढ रहे हो पीपल वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट जॉब्स तो एक तो ये इंसाइट आया दूसरा ये था कि हर हफ्ते कुछ हेड हंटर रिक्रूटर्स वुड कॉल अप एंड ट्राई एंड हेड हंट वन ऑफ दर ऑफ माई कॉलीग्स आई कुड हियर द फोन कॉल एंड आई रियलाइज कि एवरी टाइम इट्स अ डिफरेंट हेड हंटर विद अ डिफरेंट जॉब इन अ डिफरेंट कंपनी एंड दीज जॉब्स आर नॉट एडवर्टाइज So which means there's a massive market out there, which is below the surface. What appears in print is only the tip of the iceberg. So ये मेरे को एहसास हो गया by 1990. I didn't know what to do with this insight, but insight था. Meanwhile, in 1990, I quit my job and uh, I became an entrepreneur. I was pottering around doing a bunch of small things. We were working out of the servant quarter at home. सेकेंड हैंड फर्नीचर उस जमाने में टेलीफोन मोबाइल फोन तो थे नहीं 
और लैंड लाइन की आठ साल की वेटिंग लिस्ट थी आठ साल की लैंड लाइन की वेटिंग लिस्ट तो यू नो माय फादर वाज अ डॉक्टर सो ही हैड अ लैंड लाइन इन इस क्लिनिक व्हिच इज बिलो द सेवेंथ क्वार्टर आई पुल्ड एन एक्सटेंशन कॉर्ड फ्रॉम देयर एंड आई बिगेन टू ऑपरेट ऑन दैट एंड वी हैड गॉन टू सी सो इन दोज डेज हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स में हर संडे को देर वॉज बी फॉर सेल क्लासीफाइड एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स उसमें आता था डिप्लोमेट लिविंग And so when to leave, he'd sell all this furniture, yes. and what people did to buy imported stuff because there wasn't enough good stuff available in India in those days. So, we had to say that we will go there. We will take second-hand furniture. There. So we went and we told him that we will go at 4 o'clock. When all the rich things are sold, the child who is left, they will sell at any price because the day is closing at 5:30, right? So we went at 4 o'clock. And we bought some cheap, sasta second-hand furniture and took it back. And we took it back to the office. uh we also saw a for sale ad for a second hand computer uh you know uh, school teacher of st columbus leaving and going to nauru selling his computer so humne 20000 mein computer liya us samay us zamane mein computer tha 140 ka humko purana computer ji uh humko 20000 mil gaya wo hum le aaye to us tarah se humne kaam chalu kiya with uh, very little money okay and we began to do salary service उससे थोड़ा पैसा आया राइट फ्रॉम दैट वी डिड ट्रेड मार्क्स डेटा बेस उससे थोड़ा पैसा आया एंड वी गॉट गोइंग वी वॉन्ट टेकिंग सैलरी फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स अच्छा यू डेंट टेकरी फॉर द फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट टेन ईयर्स आई डिड नॉट टेक अ सैलरी फॉर अबाउट सिक्स ईयर्स आई यूज टू टीच एट बिजनेस स्कूल ऑन वीकेंड्स इन एन अराउंड डेली एज विजिटिंग फैकल्टी इन ऑर्डर टू गेट सम पॉकेट मनी ओके सो ये नौकरी डॉट कॉम का कब शुरू हुआ फिर नाइनटी सेवन आइडिया आइडिया कहाँ से आया ये आपने मुझे बता दिया आप कॉन्वर्सेशन सुन रहे हैं ग्लास का दरवाजा है और जो बिजनेस मैगजीन है कौन सी नौकरी आ रही है एंड हेड हंटर्स कॉलिंग दैम ये बैकग्राउंड में चल रहा है आपके और मैं एक दिन अपना बिजनेस करूंगा तो आई बिगेन द बिजनेस सात साल वी वो डूर स्टफ जी एंड वट है प्रगति मैदान called IT Asia it used to be organized by CII every year okay so mai har saal jata tha just to see ki you know what's going on right now in IT Asia there were pavilions as a, they were in pragati madan so there were three pavilions of big companies you know and these were of no interest to me because they were expensive products i couldn't afford them uh, you know and in any case wo to unki to ads aati thi so i knew what they were selling but there would be one pavilion maybe a hundred stalls of very small companies small stalls of small companies ji and that was most interesting to me because i got a hundred different ideas from there ki kaun kya kar raha hai i never heard of these companies so one of the stalls said www and i was intrigued and i said you know what is it boss what is this ye kya hai he says sir this is email now in those days uh, there was no web mail there was no hotmail yahoo mail gmail kuch nahi tha you had to if you wanted email it came bundled together internet access and email came bundled together and vsnl had a monopoly the public sector company so this guy was a reseller of vsnl and he was he was selling it as email and uh, i said show me so he gave me a demo in this modem dial up chin chu all that happened yeah yeah and i saw modem for the first time in my life and uh, he had logged in and he said i'll send myself an email and he sent an email type something he logged in again on a second machine to the next and he opened the account there and said dekho yahan pe aa gaya so you know you can communicate to anybody all over the world this is so much cheaper than fax it's so much better it is this it is that so i said yaar yeah, but it is totally useless ye to failure hoga kyun i said dekho you know even if i subscribe to your service and take it an email mai i have nobody to talk to because i don't know anybody else who has email so mai it will be totally useless for me so until 100 crore people are using it all over the world you know it's 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 not worth that much so either the fear ho jayega and i began to walk away so you know so come back come back wapas aaye i went back he so said this is also internet you don't know ikatte jalte hain email or internet i said internet kya i had never heard of it so he says ki sir internet se you can log in on your computer to the internet and you can access information across tens of thousands of computers around the world I said, "Wow, that's interesting." 
okay, and I explored more. He showed me a couple of sites, SSH, 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 this is really cool. Uh, and I said, boss, the penny dropped. I said, why don't we just get jobs from all the newspapers around the country, put them in one place and put them on the internet and start a website. Turank ne koi khayal aaya usne. You take a moment. And uh, I said, boss, I don't want to subscribe to internet. I want to run one of those computers that others with can access. He said, yes, sir, those are called servers. I said, yeah, I want to run a server. I want to start one of these websites. He said, sir, wo to, sir uh, all the servers are in the US. Sir. So I'm afraid I can't help you. Right? So that night, I went back home. Now my brother's a professor at UCLA. Uh, and that night I called him up. And I said, listen. Usamane was a book karke hota tha call. ISD tha, but it's really frightfully expensive. Ah. It was fright, but yeah, but yeah, I called him up, right? And uh, I spoke to him and I said, listen, uh, have you heard of the internet? He, says, he started laughing. Yes, of course, I use it all the time. I said, I said, you even have email. He laughed even more. He said, yes, I've been using it for years. I said, excellent. Now, I want to start a website. For that, I need a server. He says, I'll get you one. I said, look, uh, in those days, there were RBA restrictions on sending money overseas. Yes. So I told him, look, I can't pay you. Okay, because I can't send money out. In any case, I'm broke. So Even if I could, <laughs> yes, I'm broke. I'm so, he says, don't worry. Uh, I'll pay for your server for the next n number of years, whatever you want. And he got me a shared server for $25 a month. Wow. And he sent me the details by fax. And uh, that's how we started. And that is the beginning of Nokri. That's the beginning of Nokri. We used to get... I remember going to Central News Agency in Madras Hotel. And uh, Central News Agency is a place where you get newspapers and magazines from all over India and the world. I remember going there and browsing through all the papers and deciding, okay, I want this paper on this day of the week, this paper, and appointment at Ratatil. And so eventually we ended up getting 29 newspapers and magazines from around the country. And a few would go and pick up the magazines on, on the newspapers of that day and come back. And we had two data entry operators who would input the jobs into a database and we would upload them at 2 a.m. when the connection was stable. We'd upload them on the internet uh, twice a week. And that's how Nokri started. So, shuru shuru mein, free jobs from papers and magazines. Yes. Now, what happened is that traffic began to come. And traffic began to come because I had the customer inside that people are interested in jobs. So, I knew if jobs are going to be put in place, traffic will come. Because people are interested in jobs. Yes. So, if one knows one, he will come back again. And he will tell five friends about it. So, what is now called going viral. So, we launched Nokri, it went viral because of this. Right? Uh, when people saw the jobs, they would then apply to those jobs. Us zaman mein kisi was email tha nahi, nahi HR mein kisi was tha, nahi in logon ke pas tha. So they would send hard copy applications either by fax or by courier with a covering letter. Dear sir, I saw your advertisement on Nokri.com. Right? So the HR community began to hear about us from the applicants. Acha HR by that time had no idea what Nokri.com was. Zaid si baat hai, obviously. He was sitting in the news. So, two or three phone calls. He said, what are you doing? I have not advertised on Nokri, but I am getting an application on Nokri. I said, no, public service. Okay, now you are putting it from the news, free of cost. You will get more applications. You will be happy. Yes, we are happy. Around September, we launched on April 1, 1997. Around September 1997, there was a phone call. And I picked it up. You know, and the phone call came and this guy voiced the other side said, I know, I'm, he was the CEO of some mid-sized auto component company in Pune. I forget the name actually. He was our first paying customer. I should remember it. But, um, and uh, he said, you know, uh, I, had put up an ad, I had put out an ad in Times of India uh, a few months back and you picked up the jobs from there and I got a good response. And uh, I've got six jobs, but I've not had placed them in the paper. Can I, if I send them to you, will you put them up? And my mouth came out, yes sir, but you'll have to pay. I said, how much? And I'm thinking on my feet, you know, I have to answer in half a second. I said, sir, 350 rupees the job. So, he sent us a draft for 2100 rupees. And we put it in. We had got a revenue model. And 350 rupees the job listing remained the price for a job listing on Nokri for the next 10 years. And that's how we started. 
वाओ एंड इट टुक सम टाइम फॉर द पीपल टू एडजस्ट टू द फैक्ट अब धीरे धीरे देखिए ना आपने जो बात बताई ना कि आपने बोला आपके पास कंप्यूटर था आपके पास मॉडर्म था आपके पास ई था आपके पास वेबसाइट थी लेकिन और लोगों के पास नहीं थी दिस इज लाइक वन गाय हैविंग अ मोबाइल फोन एंड नो बडी एल्स हैविंग अ मोबाइल फोन वो बात किससे करेगा एक्जैक्टली किसी और के पास तो है नहीं पर धीरे धीरे इंटरनेट स्टेबल हुआ इकोनॉमी लिबरलाइज हुई और नौकरी डॉट कॉम उसके साथ बढ़ती चलेगी अच्छा तो जब भी आपका मॉडल स्टेबल हो गया संजीव उसके बाद नेक्स्ट आपने कौन सा वेंचर सो जीवन साथी आया उसके बाद सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन सी व्हेन वी नॉट नौकरी जी देयर वर ओनली 14000 इंटरनेट अकाउंट्स इन द कंट्री व्हिच शेयर यूजेज मींस 2 लाख लोग लगभग इट वाज अ स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन बट लार्ज इनफ फॉर अस टू एटलीस्ट मेक अ बिगिनिंग राइट 3 इयर्स लेटर वी हैड 4 मिलियन पीपल ऑन द इंटरनेट we were breaking even and we were doing what 35 30 35 lakhs we were doing 36 lakhs a year turnover and breaking even kar rahe main tankhan le raha tha but we were breaking even tab humne venture capital raise kar diya with that money we grew the company so icici venture came in uh gave us about 7.3 crores and we used that money to grow the company and get it to a certain size and scale okay right in 2004 we were profitable we had money in the bank अब मैं एक और किस्सा सुनाता हूँ आपको जी कि 97 में नौकरी लॉन्च की हमने तो 98 में यू नो वी लॉन्च जीवन साथी एज अ स्मॉल सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट भाई जॉब्स कर लिया लेट्स गो फॉर अ सेकंड कैटेगरी ऑफ क्लासिफाइड्स इन प्रिंट विच इज मैटरी मनी हमने लॉन्च कर दी बट वी डिवोटेड नो रिसोर्स टू इट वी जस्ट पुट अपाइड इट रैन ऑन ऑटो पायलट नो बडी वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड जीरो रेवेन्यू जस्ट अपने आप चल रहा था when icic venture came in to our company they said bhai we are investing my nokri ye jeevan sathi band kar do don't waste time that's okay so also change your auditor we want a big five auditor you know because we can't have you give you so much money and you have a small auditor so we went to our auditors this is uh, do bhai the uh, one had been one year senior in school one had been three years senior in school and uh, i said you know guys sorry but we have to part company because we have raised this money and they are saying get a big five auditor and these guys said you know no problem because we were thinking of shutting our ca practice and starting a dot com anyway us time us time boom chal raha tha har koi chal raha dot com bilkul so chal raha tha main practice band kar rahe hain dot com chalu karni hai to humne bola theek hai boss aap jeevan sadhi rakh lo you know we'll give it to you because we have to shut it anyway hum thoda sa share holding rakh lenge usme so we kept 45% and gave it to them uh they were not able to raise money because market melted down but they ran it for 4 3 4 years and they took it to a certain level right in 2004 5 we had money in the bank we were profitable cash was accumulating I said what do we do we kaam karte hain why don't you buy jeevan sathi back so we went to them and said boss uh, you know why don't you sell it back to us aapke thode paise ban jayenge and uh, you know it's a good idea so we bought the remaining 50% back and then it became our company again and that's how we got jeevan sathi right and then we said we are not just a jobs company we are a online classified company so wahan se then we said 99 acres because wo bhi ek aur category hai ha ghar sabko chahiye dukaan sabko chahiye akhbar mein aata hai classified ad so we were just using classified advertising category of print ji jo print mein ad hoti hai wo category ko give an internet option ji so jobs ho gaya matrimony ho gaya um naukri ho gayi matrimony ho gayi and real estate ho gaya real estate ho gaya and then when we did some more research we learned that the education institutions are the second or third largest advertising category in print is yeah it's kabhi karo and we did shiksha so yeah then we are a four vertical company now acha acha ek aur baat bataiye na sanjeev ye to aapne char khadi kar di stable companies jo sab jante hain everybody uses in india jo videsh mein bhi hai people generally know about these companies ये जोमैटो का क्या चक्कर है ये जोमैटो का कब आइडिया आया आपको कि लेट मी आल्सो इन्वेस्ट एंड हम लोग थोड़ा सा इन्वेस्टमेंट और स्टार्टअप्स में भी करते हैं सी वी वेंट पब्लिक इन हमने आईपीओ किया 2006 में ठीक है नाउ देयर इज मनी इन द बैंक कंपनीज प्रॉफिटेबल मनी इज एक्यूमुलेटिंग तो हर क्वार्टर वो ऑडिटर आ जाते थे एंड टेल आवर बोर्ड भाई आपने आईपीओ प्रोसीड को यूज नहीं किया है यू नो एंड यू रेज द मनी टू यूज इट यू हैव नॉट यूज्ड इट तो यू नो दिस इज वी हैव टू रिपोर्ट इट विल बी अ क्वालिफिकेशन ओके यूज ऑफ आईपीओ प्रोसीड्स यू नो नील सो द बोर्ड ने कहा यार कुछ करो 
अच्छा दिस इज अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू हैव ना इट इज अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू हैव बट यू हैव मनी आप नहीं यूज करा ठीक है पैसा तो है कम से कम आई नो दिस इज अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू हैव बट यू सी यू डोंट वांट अ ऑडिट या स्टेटमेंट सेइंग कि दे आर वो पैसे रेस के इस्तेमाल नहीं कर रहे ठीक है दैट इज नॉट अ गुड थिंग तो इसे भाई इस्तेमाल करो अब किस में इस्तेमाल करें तो हमने सोचा लेट्स भाई कई अंतर स्टार्टअप कर रहे हैं बट उनको पैसा नहीं मिल रहा आसानी से इन दोज डेज देर वॉज एन एज वन वेंचर कैपिटल एज डेज टूडे दो में तो हमने सोचा कि साहब लेट्स इन्वेस्ट इन वन टू स्टार्टअप्स सो वी बिगैन टू इन्वेस्ट इन 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन बाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व हमने आठ दस कंपनियाँ कर ली थी जिसमें से दो थी जमाटो और पॉलिसी बाजार ओके दैन दैट्स हाउ वी गॉट इन टू इन्वेस्टिंग नाउ ऑफकोर्स वी हैव अ बी सी फंड नाउ ऑफकोर्स यू नो इट्स मच मोर लार्जर स्केल अप एक्टिविटी बट आई टेल यू हाउ यू नो आई मेट याशीष दहिया the one of the founders of policy bazaar the ceo and he's sitting in my cabin across the table and uh, i'm asking him how do you know customers will want want what you abhi ab tak he is not produced he is not this pre product it's just a powerpoint we idea hi hai unhone product banaya nahi hai and i said how do you know customers will want it demand hoga ki nahi he says i'm willing to bet that you are paying 60% more for your car insurance than you need to and i said don't be daft Don't be silly. Uh, you know, it's a public sector company. I bought it from the dealer. Sold it to me. I bought the car. It's a standard car, standard dealer, standard insurance company, public sector, standard insurance policy. It'd be standard price here. Says, so, let's try it. Take out your insurance policy. Now I carry my insurance policy in my backpack, right? Because I take it in the car with me. And uh, I took it out. And he said, "Such a model, but I'll make, but I'll." Which year? Uh, Owner-driven, driver-driven. What color? Mileage? What is it? I gathered all the data and gave it to him. He did some querying in some online thing, and he came back with eight quotes. And sure enough, the lowest quote was forty percent lower than what I was paying. Wow! I said, "How is this possible?" He says, "There's huge opacity. There are different companies priced risk differently, and therefore, there's, for the same policy, there'll be massive variation in price." Uh, and uh, therefore customers will want to know more and i was convinced it chalega if this is the value prop if this is the price variation it chalega people will want to compare and that is how policy bazaar took birth yeah so that's how we invested and that's how it took birth right uh, zomato uh, you see zomato is we call foodie bay foodie bay uh, was a there was there, there were three or four restaurant listing sites Uh, but foodie bay was the only one which had all the menu cards right and i found the menu cards very useful so i used to use it my son would use it and hitesh ograi who is uh, the ceo of the company uh, and uh, uh, co promoter he would use it ek bar hitesh ne bola ek din bhai have you used foodie bay i said yes i love it he said, so do i so why don't you look at it for investment apne aur company mein kya ye bhi dekho so I said, why not? It never occurred to me. Penny dropped, so I went to Network Solutions. I did a Who is search. I found the Foodie Bay domain name. Uh, the admin contact is somebody called Deepinder Goel. When Deepinder Goel's name pe search kia, I found an email ID somewhere. So I sent him a cold email which said, uh, Dear Deepinder, uh, are you the same person who has launched uh, Foodie Bay? If so, well done. Uh, are you looking to raise money? Can we talk? प्लीज दिस माई मोबाइल प्लीज कॉल मी उन्होंने फोन किया मैं मिले और मैंने दीपिंदर से पूछा दीपिंदर ये आइडिया कहाँ से आया दिस पुटिंग ऑल द मेन्यू कार्ड है वेर डिज द आइडिया कम फ्रॉम ही सैड आई यूज टू वर्क इन बेन कंसल्टिंग इन गुड़गांव आफ्टर आई आई टी एंड बेन वॉज अर ऑफिस जहाँ पे पचपन साठ लोग काम करते थे मोस्टली यंग मोस्टली मेल मोस्टली सिंगल Uh, very often living away from the hometown what it meant was they would not bring lunch from home right consulting hours are long office hours are long invariably you had lunch and dinner both at the office office at a cafeteria which would not serve food however you could bring your own food and eat it there to make life easy for the employees the admin team had 
collected the delivery menu cards of some 70, 80 restaurants that would deliver there and had kept them in two file folders in the cafeteria for people to access. And Dipinda said, Yaar, ek baje badi book lagti hai, mein deadline bhi hai, mein stress bhi hoon, baut kaam hai, my boss is jumping on my head for, to meet some deadlines. So, you go down to the cafeteria, you stand in line for 15 minutes to access the files because it's a shared resource. So you get the file for two minutes, then you quickly decide what you want to eat. Then you call the restaurant, place the order. Then he delivers. After one hour. Yes. So you go back and come back after one hour, pay, and you know, then you eat. A huge pain, yeah, huge pain. So one weekend I came in and I scanned all those menu cards and put them up on my personal page on the office internet for the whole office to access. Something like a shared drive folder. Yeah. And three days later, the IT infra guy came to me and said, man, what the hell have you done? Why is 95% <laughs> of internal traffic going to your page? <laughs> Says, when he dropped, I understood that aggregation of menu cards got value. Just as I had understood 15 years ago that aggregation of jobs got value. Right? So, on weekends, I began to go to restaurants, just picking up delivery menu cards. When I when I site launch, or traffic again. And I said, okay, uh, this looks like a good idea. Customers want it. It's based on an unsolved problem, deep customer insight. And we invested. Excellent. Uh, you know, uh, Sanjeev, has been fantastic talking uh, to you, your family's journey from Karachi all the way back to Agra, then to Delhi, and this entire thing. I, I, you know, I've used Nokri.com and very successfully. It's landed me a job, by the way. But, uh, but uh, uh, so I'm one of the users of your platforms and uh, Zomato, of course, everybody uses Zomato now. Uh, it's been wonderful talking to you and very insightful. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Sanjeev. A real pleasure. Uh, Sanjeev Bhikchandani Ji, hai, founder of Nokri.com, founder of Shiksha, founder of Jeevan Sathi and so many other platforms, investor. In ki kahani, uh, ek, ek cheez dikhati ki agar aap mein mehnat karne ka madha ho, अगर आप इंटेलिजेंट हो अगर आप मेहनत कर सकते हो राइट अगर आप में रिस्क टेकिंग एबिलिटी हो तो आप जीत भी सकते हैं संजीव आप अग्री करते हैं एब्सोल्युटली सो वी स्टार्टेड दिस कंपनी विद 2000 रुपीस आई हैड नो मनी जी इन 1990 2000 रुपीस वी स्टार्टेड दिस कंपनी पैसे नहीं थे you, this is look. This is the new India, post liberalisation, uh, post the, the digital revolution. Many opportunities are there. Jay. Post startup India, Jay. many, many. So this is something that is can be done by anybody. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Sanjeev. Dosto, uh, Sanjeev Bhichandani ji ke saath aapne suna inki puri journey ke baare mein. Main agle hafte fir aapko milunga. Kisi aur special guest ke saath. Uh, ye Gaurav Arya show ka episode dekhne ke liye aapka bahut bahut dhanyavad. Jai Hind.